and welcome back to this Middle Earth Marathon of ours. Um, oh. I'm just... Yeah, I'm Ali Duncan, I'm here with Sam and Ian. How are you doing, guys? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Yeah. And, yeah, um... Whoa, what's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, before we... I think um, Streamlabs is getting an update which would allow me to see the events tab and the uh, which would allow me to see the events tab and the uh, editor which is what I've got to uh, look at to you know see what I'm doing <laughs> <laughs> because everything is on my computer screen right now, which has everything in a nice, like, one screen setup, which is what I like. <laughs> I don't like to have to look at another screen to see the chat, for example. That's, uh, I'm, that's awesome. The, the, the PS4 streaming function has spoiled me a little in that regard. Yeah. But, yeah, well, as I was saying when we started... I got into Star Fox. So I got into Star Fox through Star Fox Adventures on the GameCube, and yeah, then I actually found out what Lilith Wars was, and I'm like, okay, I've probably started at the wrong place <laughs> because this looks like Star Space Battles, and I'm running around with a staff hitting dinosaurs with a stick. <laughs> and I have, I have a very functional ship right there that I can't use. Yeah. Um, I like Star Fox Adventures, but I do remember wishing it had a few more R-Wing segments. Well, the thing is, again, that Falco doesn't turn up till right at the end, and it wasn't even meant to be a Star Fox game, it was meant to be an N64 game called Dinosaur Planet, but then they just decided to add Star Fox to it. Assault wasn't too bad, I actually liked that story, even if literally everybody died. Everybody died? Well... Star Wolf, all of Star Wolf seemed to die. And then at the end, they didn't. Actually, I didn't see them in the ending. That's the thing. Oh, I know that well, Pepe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you no, just... you think Peppy Hair's dead, but he turns out. Okay, you know, news, after he... um, another ground rule there's a lot of spoilers flying right now for people who wouldn't be looking for them. Well, to be fair, to be fair, Star Fox Assault, they rebooted the series after it anyway. And getting a copy of Star Fox Assault is very difficult. Yeah, I've noticed it, because I've looked for a copy, and the cheapest I found it for is 39 quid, which is a lot for a GameCube game. Star Fox Assault was fucking dark. It was, mainly because, again, it starts off like a normal one, and, you know, Peppy's finally in retirement, so you're like, oh, fucking finally, maybe he can finally have the rabbit biscuits he's been needing since Star since Lilac Wars 64. And then... A bunch of insect alien things turn up. You fight Star Wolf and have the, you know, amazing theme music, let's be brutally honest. Yeah, that is my favourite part of the soundtrack. Too. Oh, and of course you kill the monkey guy, who apparently I find out later was actually part of Star Wolf in Violet Wars, but... And yeah, Andrew... Okay. No, not Andros. He's not Andros, Andrew. Uncle Andros! He's a yeah, he fight... yeah, you fight him and he just blows up dies and then the insects come you kill them off then general pepper gets kind of killed but i just i think my favorite bit is literally right at the end when you actually have the whole star fox and star wolf team up right at the end yeah also panther i know he's just added to that one game but he's fucking awesome yeah he's a panther that can't stop thinking with his dick yeah, he, he would That's not the best leave part. He, Crystal he, alone. Yeah, well, he, well, apparently one of the reasons that Star Fox Command failed was because of its stories, because apparently Crystal has multiple endings, because, you know, Fox is apparently a terrible boyfriend or whatever, and he won't let her get into an R-Wing or something because it's too dangerous, although that's not something Fox would do. So she ends up going off to fuck Panther. But then turns out he's one of the most despised people in the Lilac system, so she goes off and becomes a bounty hunter. You can see why nobody liked this idea. Yeah. Or when Star Fox became a, you know, a drift racer. Or joined Star Wars. Oh. 
join Stein. Why would anyone think this is a good idea? And then, it, and then they just reboost it on the Wii U with the Wii U, I think, or the Switch. I don't know if they've done one for the Switch, but I know they did one where Star War, where Wolf was a dictator of some kind. They like rebooted the series again. Yeah. And then they released the SNES Classic, which actually had Star Fox Two with two unreleased characters to the series, which apparently were pretty good. I well, you still have. Can see the ring. I mean, mm. see me wearing the ring. <laughs> Who knows? Well, because, you know, you had your peppy hair still. You had Andro... You still had Fox, Falco, and Slippy. And then you had a Lynx and a Poodle. And apparently Star Fox, Star Fox 2 is ridiculously easy. You can't fail it unless you're really, really trying. Not sure if that's a good idea or if that's a good thing or not. I mean, my, I was exposed to him mainly through Super Smash Brothers because, let's face it, if you have a GameCube and you don't have Super Smash Brothers, you have no soul. If you have a GameCube and you don't have Super Smash Brothers, what are you doing? <laughs> like... uh, look, on my, on my, I have on my GameCube. Well, I've. I'm still hunting for games because, let's face it, as old as I get and as many kids as I have, I will never stop, you know, enjoying my video games. Or looking for the my well, the ones that will probably be never released again. I mean, at the moment, my GameCube collection literally consists of Sonic Adventure DX, because you have to have that for the GameCube at least. Day of Re WWE Day of Reckoning 1 and 2. Yeah. Super Smash Bros. Melee. Star Fox Adventures, Sonic Mega Collection, Sonic Gems Collection, uh, Shadow the Hedgehog because it was cheap, Fantasy Star Online Episodes 1 and 2, even though I don't use the online functionality, and the creme de la creme, Star Metal Gear Solid to the Twin Snakes, and Eternal Darkness. Uh, oh, I, thought the you... Twin Snakes. I thought you were going to well, say Super Mario it... Sunshine. Nah. <laughs> Although, funny enough, if you do have an Eternal Darkness save file, that gets mentioned in Metal Gear Solid oh, yeah, Twin Snakes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sorry, I'm only, way, I'm, only gonna think, I'm only gonna, ever going to think of Ian's version of Mario, the, men the mentally deficient one that doesn't understand the chaos he's causing. <laughs> Mario, stop! Just put the, the, the lid back on the blender! Woo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> <laughs> You've got a spaghetti everywhere! And sings opera when he gets sad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the words for that one, but you, oh. you know the one I mean. Oh, yeah. We are all. We're all more rice crispies. We are out of rice crispies. <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> That one. The actual translation of that song is Laugh Clown, let them laugh at your misery. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh, it's... miserable miserable clowns are just hilarious. Yeah. Whoever heard <laughs> of a sad clown? Uh, apparently, the apparently the clown was crying because he just found out his best mate is uh, banging his wife. <laughs> That's when he starts singing the song. <laughs> oh yeah, Ian, oh, yeah, oh yeah, Seb found this funny. So, so I don't know whether this will happen in the English translation, but I was going through the la through the latest English release of the My Hero Academia manga. Right. And they they were doing the school festival bit. Now it's a bit of a filler bit. Now, Class 1A are doing Class 1A are doing a musical performance, but you get to see a bit of what Class 1B are doing. They are doing Romeo and Juliet crossed with Star Wars. Right. The only bit you see is two of the classmates with swords going Tybalt. They never told me what you what happened to your father. They told me enough. Yeah, they do the whole "I am your father" scene yeah. in Romeo and fucking Juliet. Oh, I've had some ideas for that Darth Berry video. 
regard. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, all he wants to do a Darth Matt Berry thing. Replace Darth Vader's like... voice with Matt Berry. And all I can think of is Darth Bob. He comes onto... It's Lord Vader, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Clem Fandango. <laughs> <laughs> and then he comes onto the Tantive Four, looks around at the bodies. Hell's horses! <laughs> Darth Vader, only you could be so bold. I know it was you. You broke my heart. You broke my heart? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a member of the Imperial Senate on a diplomatic mission to Alderaan. Fuck off! I thought you were going, quiet, woman! <laughs> Maybe I'll add, add that as well. Lord Vader, <laughs> speak, priest! Lord Vader, speak, priest! <laughs> Thank you, computer man. <laughs> Thank you, computer man. Oh, wait, oh, what about when the Obi Wan thing is again? Obi Wan, like Ray bloody purchase. Purchase. Your marriage is a fast purchase. Have that during the during the lightsaber battle. <laughs> uh. Your marriage is a fast purchase. It's those green fuckers I can't stand. <sighs> so yeah, that's my GameCube collection. Yeah. It's not majorly impressive, I grabbed you, but... I grabbed what I thought was essential. <laughs> For that Wind Waker. Fuck off! <laughs> Wind Waker's the best Zelda. Fuck off! Also, not bothering with Master with let Ocarina of Time a Master Quest on the GameCube because, while yes, it, it is the first appearance of the Master Quest in the West or even physically released, I really don't want to because the GameCube version is actually kind of inferior to even the N64 version. How so? Well, apparently they've got side by side comparison. They're just kind of it's a bit more sluggish. Plus, Wind Waker's the ugliest Zelda. I don't know. How Cell dare Shade, you? I agree with you there, that because, again, Cell Shaded, this just doesn't really have that whole aging effect that, say, something like, you know, metal, the original Metal Gear Solid has. It looks like a Disney cartoon. It's better than... It's better than... It's, it's better than assholes made out of Lego. Sorry, but I prefer my Zelda games with look looking like um something from an actual fantasy film. I agree too. Apart, but unfortunately, my group, of friends, my group of friends, seem to like the entire the idea of female Link being gangbanged for some reason, and we don't speak anymore because they creep me out. You move in some very strange circles. It's not my fault. People suddenly found Gerudo sexy for some reason. They terrify me. You know I'm afraid of pe of ginger people. They scare me. You're just threatened by women with power. I'm threatened by gingers. Which is ironic when you consider my hair. Yeah. I thought you were blonde. I, te I change during the summers. It depends on the weather. If it's... I'm blonde during the summer when... The sun bleaches my hair, my hair that colour, but when it's the winter, it tends to go darker. Oh, I notice there are tiny tinges of ginger in my stubble sometimes. <laughs> He's got gingivitis. Probably a trait I inherited from my dad's side. Probably. Or maybe you've watched too much Becky Lynch and it's suddenly like infect infecting you. There's a huge paradox there. Sam, as everybody knows, there is no such thing as too much Becky Lynch. So she's a brunette. That's true on both counts. I'm still wondering if in the in 2K20 we'll get River dancing Be Becky. We can I'll be help. happy to have any Becky. Well, if they're doing an entire 2K showcase based on the four horsewomen of WWE, 
and they're going to go through all that NXT thing, it would be hilarious to have Becky Lynch doing her river dancing gimmick. Mm. Imagine the characters you can create with that. Yeah, we can finally create a Lord of the Dance. Or give, finally give Ollie a um, Irish gimmick. Uh, finally, we can finally make Marty McGregor actually be Irish instead of Scottish. Uh, no. Then what we're we gonna call? Then what we're we gonna call him? Oli. John Oli. <laughs> okay, I like that. Seamus has the most Irish name in the history of names. Like, I mean, his full name is Seamus O'Shaughnessy. Remember when he said his last name was Lipshit? <laughs> Seamus Lip. No, his, his name is Seamus O'Shaughnessy. I know, but remember when he said he claimed his name was Lipshit just so he could make a bad joke? Yeah. My name is Seamus Lipshit. Lipshits. Yes, we get together and we sit around the table and we try and solve the old Lipshits family family riddle, which was, if your name, if your Lipshits, what does your arse do? <laughs> then he kicked, then he kicked David O'Tonga in the face and then started doing singing the you know the Jewish chair dance song. Oh, uh, huh. Yeah. Also, remember his 01800 fella. Yeah. Got a problem? He'll kick it. Cat struck up in a tree? Bro kick. Pickups? Bro kick. Divorce? Bro kick. There wasn't a single issue he couldn't fix by kicking it. Yeah. They've given Seamus a lot of um, gimmicks, really, haven't they? Seamus O'Shaughnessy, first of all, started off as a tough old Irishman. Then he was, then he was like the king of the ring. Then he was a gonk. And then he was like Beaker from the Muppets' his cousin. Then he was a, a like an angry pale chicken man thing. I used to say you looked like a lit cigarette. And now he might be coming back as a referee. As a referee. I've heard rumours that he might be coming back as a referee. Why? Can you both see the stream, by the way? Mm-hmm. Huh. Mm -hmm. Stream is so hard to see. Yeah, feckin' Egypt. I hear you're a racist now, Father. I'm just gonna make sure the chat works by uh, commenting on it as soon as I get on to... It's not the Greeks he's after, it's the Chinese. I am not after the Chinese! <laughs> yep, yep, that's working. Yep, that's a city, all right. <sighs> yep, that's a city, all right. Hmm. I'm going to save it now because at least I've dealt with those first annoying spiders with full health and not getting poisoned. So progress is progress. And I think I'm going to have to claw for all of it I can get at this point. Because this part is really hard. Speaking of my penis... The area of effect attack 
is better with the walking stick than it is with the sword. I wonder if that's one of the, uh, I mean, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. The spiders can clearly tell where you are even with the ring on. It's the poison. Spider. God damn it. Spider. It smells like urinated whiskey. I can run through. I have found a hack! Oh, good. <laughs> Delightful. Ah. That is not so good. I like not this news. No, this is not what I uh, wanted to do. Cancel. Oh, I think I've had it. 
<sighs> oh shit, there were mushrooms there. Okay. Um. Right, I have something of a strategy now. Oh, there are two of them. Well, this ain't gonna get me easy. Uh, right. I know what to do. <laughs> you guys still there? Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. Mm -hmm. I wonder how my audio is coming out on the stream. Might be different to Skype. Uh, hold on, I'll just ask Seb to get on and tell me. Seb, do shit.
Right. Well, um, well, it seems to be. It seems it's being picked up on OBS, so I'm going to assume it's fine. But I'm just going to share the stream to the group chat. Could use confirmation. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, ah, dildo fucking seconds. Ah. All time I held message for reason. I didn't. Your mic is fine, but the, uh, Sack game time is like, ah, oh, cool. I won't bother putting the mic on my bed next time then. You know what? I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna run through. I don't give a fuck. save it right now. Yes, we can hear you. I only went to save Faggins Faggins once. It's holding your messages, so I'm having to allow them manually. Uh, I will, but I thought you'd appreciate knowing that that's what's happening. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Rivendell, Frodo Faggins. That was a YouTube poop. Mm -hmm. One was given to the racist men, who above all else, desired men. What's wrong with the world? Well, it's picking up on it and blocking your messages. So... I think you know what's wrong with the word. Ah, flies and spiders. Oh, I didn't save, but I don't really want to save in the middle of an attack of giant spiders. Doesn't seem like a saving place. If I don't cut those dwarves down, the spiders will eat them for sure. Oh, come on, sisters. There is a disturbance. Who intrudes? Is some creature trying to steal our food? I think I'd better hurry. I'm afraid I can't do much about the- oh! I'm afraid I can't do much about the game lag. There's a lot of rocks though. I can take a hint. Oh, 
Oh, by the way, I finished Avatar The Last Airbender. Ooh. Yeah, he finally saw the wonder that was Uncle Iroh, buff as fuck. <laughs> he got shredded in prison. Yeah. Well, it's not like he had anything else to do, to be fair. That's the thing, Ollie. He's been like this all... He was like that probably before prison. That's the thing. How did he not watch it sooner? I don't know, okay? It just... <laughs> I was never a Nicktoons guy. I was more of a Cartoon Network guy. Which, to be fair, is how I saw Dragon Ball Z. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. Oh, fuck off! I'm not even gonna bother fighting the spiders at this point. I mean, the EXP is nice, but... You're dying too much. Yeah. I say immediately before jumping to my death and not having saved it. Fuck! Kiss me, Hardy! <laughs> Hell's Hall Seekers. Your marriage is a fast purchase! Fucking run. Oh, fuck off! That icy bastard. Alright, you icy bastard, let's set some ground rules. <laughs> the Black Frost. What is that emote Pete used? Who are your favourite Avatar characters and why are they Uncle Iroh? <laughs> Who is your favourite Avatar The Last Airbender character? There is a right answer and it's Uncle Iroh. <laughs> Uncle Iroh is the best thing in that thing, hands down. Those spiders are terrifying, still... they are, aren't they? I still love just how he just redirects the lightning and shit. It's Jake Munro from Metal Ass Gaming. Ah. Take that, take that, niece. How ah. have spiders woven a zip line? <laughs> I haven't watched Avatar The Last Airbender in years. Did you watch the whole series, Pete? <laughs> Sam, can you do the opening as Matt Berry again? You do a good impression. Uh, uh, I can't remember the one for Avatar. Just skip to everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked the wankers. Everything changed, though, when the Fire Nation attacked the wankers. <laughs> Your regime is a farce, so's I. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
I still love just, you know, how Zuko turns on him on that one day and is just like, yeah, I'm going to go to the team with the Avatar and defeat you. And he's just like, yeah, well, Thundershock, bitch. And he just, like, knocks it right back at him. Oh, I love that scene. Uh, 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 I cut down both. Uh, Hurry, Bilbo! Uh, oh, Biffa Boffa and Bomba? Biffa Boffa Boffa Boffa. Also, can we just laugh at the fact that Sa that Toph was blind and as good as she was, it was still hilarious to watch her, you know, mess up in some capacity. I, I, like I, they, I actually it, really like, like, Avatar The Last Airbender is how you do disability representation well. Yes. Because, um, there are ways in which Toph's being blind affects her. And it comes across in the way she acts, like how she never seems to feel the need to look at what she's pointing to or addressing. I always thought Azula was pretty cool. Yeah. She was pretty cool. Mm. Oh, fuck. Mm. It just it hurts more when you've seen the show and then you watch the you what then you see anything involved you know the M Night Shyamalan one and you're like why I, I, let, we do not speak of that it doesn't exist <laughs> I I haven't seen it and if I had seen it I would probably regret having seen it so I'm not gonna see it <laughs> so we're giving this the treatment the treatment, what treatment? Yes. <clears throat> yeah I can't say the full name of the movie. Because it doesn't exist. Yeah. What doesn't exist? Exactly. What are we talking about? Exactly. I remember Nothing. going to see the other Avatar movie with Seth. Mm. There hasn't you been mean... an Avatar movie. Yeah. This is crazy as hearing about the hearing that there's an Indiana Jones movie that wasn't, you know, the other three. The other three, they've only been three. Exactly. I mean, I why would the... someone buy and make up that there was a fourth one? I don't know if Disney wants to do a fourth one. Hmm. Don't they want to reboot it? No, they, they said they're bringing back Harrison Ford. Well, oh, God. well, that was an interesting glitch. Good luck doing one without him. But also, why would you even try? try? Why are you eating floor shrooms, Bilba? <laughs> Does this non-existent movie start with DBE? Um. Well. No, because it doesn't exist. But also, like, we were talking about how there are only three Indiana Jones films. Exactly. <clears throat> then, like, there's this myth of a fourth one, but it never happened. I know, my family claimed to have seen it. And the they, they, cl they, they claim to be mistaken. To... I know. Is that. The thing is, it, this is spooky, right? They claimed they were wa while we were having dinner. They claimed we were watching it right now, but I'm like, look, it's just a blank screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I can't believe we. So what you're saying is that the thing's been Ben watched. <laughs> what what thing? Ex I mean, the whole thing was pretty spooky. <laughs> so, you were watching a screen, and they claimed there was a movie on, but you saw nothing. There was nothing. They were staring at a blank screen. Interesting. Uh, oh. uh, no, I was sorry, thinking... you don't, because they were not on Oh, Ian, did you read the new script to Ask Seb? Um. No, I wasn't you aware of you that. Had, you said you had some. I have. Oh, I was. Is that the one you on. showed me in that cafe? 
Oh, I was thinking of a non-existent live-action movie based on a certain anime. Uh, there's plenty of those. I can acknowledge yeah, the existence of Dragon Ball Evolution. I'm still laughing at that one thing if they did of the. No they did of the. I'm still laughing at that thing from the watch, but the start the Street Fighter movie thing where they put the fiends in, and he's just like, "You've travelled across the world to fight me, soldier," and it just shows Bray White breaking his neck again. Pathetic. <laughs> Are you talking about the Speed Racer movie? Go I, I can speed. acknowledge the existence of Dragon Ball Evolution, for the mostly for the reason that it led to better things. I mean, the movie itself is an abortion, but it was an abomination. Go speed racist! Go speed racist! Go speed racist! Go! It was the worst film I've ever seen in all my life. What, speed I've seen plenty. I never no, saw I'm... it. No, the Dragon Ball Evolution. Oh, right. Uh... Yeah, um, yeah, it was awful. Yeah, made me hate life. It took me months to recover. Yeah. I'm you managed to recover in a matter of months. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it wasn't easy. Uh, uh. Oh, fuck off! Poison... Bastards? You poisonous bastards! <laughs> the paralyzing sex venom! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I just heard that word today and I was laughing, but I can't stop laughing at it. Why did he I'm so, he's rock? not unconscious by her paralyzing what sex pen. Oh, um... Fuck off, you beady eyed little shits! Says but yes, that my sentiments exactly. They've announced the voice actor for Spawn in uh, Mortal Kombat 11. Yeah, oh, come um, on. Uh... It's Keith David. Oh, Keith David's gonna be spawned. Keith David was spawned before, though, wasn't he? The question, Ollie, is not so much who's playing him so much as, oh, is Ian gonna get the line he wants? I doubt it. A man can dream. What line is it that you want? He wants Keith David to scream, get away from me, you fudge packing midget. Somehow, I doubt Somehow, it. I, yeah, I doubt with Mortal Kombat being the way it is, I doubt they will. And he needs to say it to Clown as well. I know, and Clown isn't going to be a, pa a playable character, so... I know, because he only says it after Clown goes, um, Think of me as your guardian demon. Uh, 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 uh. Every time uh, uh, a demon... Well, every time uh, someone parts, a demon gets his wings. <laughs> Uh oh, twins. <laughs> Get away from me, you fudge packing midgets! <laughs> Is he talking to Tom Cruise? <laughs> I'm not packing fudge, I'm off on a fly fishing holiday. <laughs> Yeah, so Goliath from Gargoyles is voicing Spawn. Oh, wonderful! That is good casting, actually. It is. Right. And he was also the villain in The Princess and the Frog. Never saw it. It's a pretty good film. I remember him in Saints Row. <clears throat> Mainly when he fought Roddy Piper for a, basically a They Live reference. Another film he was in. Yeah, they literally redo the entire car park fight, and literally at the end, when they go up to Keith David and go, too bad we couldn't get Roddy to join us, and he just goes, 
Ro you don't ask for Roddy Piper's help. Roddy goes where he's needed the most. He also played the president in Rick and Morty. Cool. <laughs> when he said, Who the fuck do you think you are? I'm the president of the motherfucking United States. I'm the goddamn, I'm the goddamn president of the United Mother States. Can the Pope's dick fit through a donut? I'm I, not I, sure. Uh, exactly. Can you fly this thing? Can the Pope's dick fit through a donut? I'm not sure. <sighs> Fuck off, you baby little chick. Just one question. Do you happen to know how to fly this thing? <laughs> oh, fuck off! No! Side of poisoning on the rope. Mm. We're probably crashing. Mm. You know how we said um, that uh, one day on a future podcast we do when. Um... Like our worst films. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, inevitably we have to do like um, our favourite ones. Indeed. Inevitably. I mean, it is. if we're, if we're doing the worst ones, we gotta do the best ones. Yeah. Indeed, indeed. So, Ollie, how do you feel about the fact that, that we're actually going to be able to have physical copies of all of the Yakuza games? I feel good about that. I actually did look into the collector's edition they're bringing out in Europe. Yes. They not only give you the game itself, with two of the Yakuza games being on one disc, but Yakuza 5 is also going to have a PS3 case that comes with it. Nice. Because there was never a physical release of the PS3 version. So I guess you get that now? Cool. I guess. Fuck off! <laughs> Fuck off, you long-legged bastards. Right, I guess I can save here. Kidneys! I've got new kidneys! I don't like the colour of your kidneys. <laughs> right, I've got to get up there. That's where the rest of... Okay, but how do I get up there? the thing in the YouTube bit uh, where the news person sweats. Yes. That was very amusing. I still think all I still think all his latest YouTube poop with Jim Sterling was pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. Milkshake. Milkshake. 2K CEO and local flasher Strauss's helmet got his dick caught in an egg whisk.
Welcome to BBC News Taken Out of Context. Fuck the BBC. Indeed. Apart from Doctor Who. Yeah. You know, Doctor Who can exist in a nice little bubble. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, Ollie, I know this is going to go against that. Yeah, you know, I know you're going to make a bit out of this, but do you remember that South Park episode with the whole, you know, where the kids watch that Indiana Jones movie and they all overreact to it in that particular way, and it ends up turning into that southern, that whole southern thing. <laughs> I don't know. I just find it funny. People saying, "Look out! It's Steven Spielberg and George Lucas." Yeah. <laughs> like they're some kind of historical monsters. Uh, you didn't see the new Indiana Jones movie? <laughs> look how Steve! Look how Indian Steven Spielberg and George Lucas. <laughs> you just saw how vivid it is. And the fact that they get the police involved. <laughs> you want me to arrest George Lucas and Steven Spielberg for the rape of Indiana Jones. I know I'll have to testify in court and face what I saw. And they catch them with a stormtrooper. <laughs> yeah. We found the dead bodies of Yoda and Short Round in the closet. What are you fucking doing? Back. The reason I never visit Australia. Oh god, yeah, I'm staying way. I'm staying Yeah, well those away. ones scare me. Fuck off! Who? Who would want to visit a country where its wildlife wants to kill you? Seb wants you to do the Buzz Lightyear impression again. Oh, okay. Okay. Thanks. You are a sad, strange little man. You have my pity. Farewell. Hey, Ollie, remember the big Bill Hells thing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're ugly, yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Baltimore! Welcome to Big Bell Hells, the only dealer that tells you to fuck off! Bring your friends, bring your wife, we'll fuck him! Oh, hold on. Bill Hells cars. Hold on. I'm just gonna see, I'm gonna see if you can hear this. Fuck you, Baltimore! If you're dumb enough to buy a new car this weekend, you're a big enough spot to come to Big Bill Hell's car! Bad deal! Cars that break down! If you think you're gonna find a bargain at Big Bill, you can kiss my ass! It's our belief that you're such a stupid motherfucker! You'll fall for this bullshit! Guaranteed! If you find a better deal, shove it up your ugly ass! You heard us right! Shove it up your ugly ass! Bring your tray! Bring your tie! Bring your wife! We'll fuck her! That's right, we'll fuck your wife! Because it's Big Bill Hell! You're fucked six ways from Sunday! Take a hike to Big Bill Hell! Challenge pissing. That's right, challenge pissing. How does it work? If you can piss six feet in the air straight up and not get wet, you get no down payment. Don't wait, don't delay, don't fuck with us, or we'll rip your nuts off. Only a big bill has a bill speak dealer that tells you to fuck off. Hurry up, asshole. This event ends the minute after you write us a check. And it better not bounce so you're a dead motherfucker. Go to hell. Big Bill Hell's card. All the more filthy is and exclusive on one of the meanest sons of bitches in the state of Maryland. Guaranteed. <laughs> 
Don't know if you heard most of that. Yeah, we heard it all very well. <laughs> I come in pies. <laughs> Fuck you, Baltimore. I don't know, my phone. Huh. Odd. Hmm. Oh, oh Seb says I come in parks. It's perfect. <laughs> Why you can buy items here without ending the level? Because I'm de I'm in desperate need of some health potions. Oh, come on! I used the thing. Uh, fuck it! I'm gonna try again. Tell me where it's going. Oh, but I much desire to speak with him. Tell me. Where is Gandalf? Oh, I desire to speak with him. You forget, Obi-Wan. I trade my gun.
Oh, there's a coup, there's a whole thing against Boris. There's a whole thing coup against Jabari Johnson. I'm seeing what it actually is. No, the coup isn't against Boris Johnson. He's doing it. Oh. I will send the Orakai. That's what um, the the general. Oh yeah, field. yeah. It's got. A, well, I'm seeing a lot of people outside screen stop the coup. Ah, right. The Orokai will take care of Boris Johnson. <laughs> I will see you to it. Fucking hell. I Saraman. Or am I Dooku? How the fuck am I supposed to get through that? Sam, can you look for cheats? I already did last time and there's just none for it. Oh. Yeah, it's just showing all of like the UK having like massive nationwide protests. Yeah. Well. No matter where you stand, this is like the fact that this is happening is indicative of something going horribly wrong. Mm. You may not agree on what that is, but we can all agree that it's fucked up. Yeah, it's the first time that the UK's all been united. <laughs> well, in the last few years, at least. Yeah, Welcome exactly. to Burger King. Mm. I am Saruman. Can I take your order? May I recommend you do not take the ring, the <laughs> onion rings? as much for your safety as theirs. They will literally kill you. Mm. Mm, let's see. Just looking through what what are my YouTube suggestions at the moment that, you know, isn't related to today's new whole news thing. Now, go out there and make me some money. Show them the gods. <laughs> Now get out there and make me some goddamn money! Let's see. Harvey Birdman. Well, there's a Harvey Birdman thing where he's defending Fred Flintstone. Always a classic. Sorry, man, if you became Sorrow Woman. Hi, Sorrow Woman! 
a guide to sell. The Joker trailer. Some call me Johnny. His stuff's been interesting. Uh, the big penis comic. Is it purple? <laughs> you know it isn't. Well, what? not for sure. You know it's not that particular one. <laughs> Some call me Johnny in some of Kadikarus's videos, says Pete. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kadikarus is still wonderful to watch. Some call me Johnny's a bit more serious. I've watched his Star Fox marathon and his Sonic marathon. <laughs> Your Heineken. Uh, I swear to God. <laughs> to me, he's the cannon. Mm. Your Heineken. Sorry, man, if he was a foot afraid of butterflies. Oh no! No, they are everywhere. Get off! Ah. Orakai, attack! I was killed by Chucky. <gasps> We can always get some sea salt ice cream. Yeah. Or to be called cavities on a stick. I've been reading an important medical journal. Some children are allergic to chocolate. Makes their noses itch. <laughs> <laughs> no son of mine will become a chocolatier. <laughs> I wonder if he was trying to hit on someone in a bar. Well. Uh. Hey there, good looking. Sir! On the good ship, Lollipop, it's a great trip to the candy shop. Let's see what the damage is. Would you like to see the length? Of my staff. Uh, or would you prefer the lightsaber? Oh, you've seen the original Willy Wonka yet? No, I haven't. Uh, it doesn't look like I'm gonna. <laughs> it's the best one. Oh fuck no! Oh. He did not hit me. Oh no! He always turning into DSP. You're turning into DSP. Bullshit! All these years, and you still haven't flossed. Garbage humans. So. Saruman, if he was horribly prejudiced, wasn't he always? Wasn't he already prejudiced? That's a good point. Oh fuck! That worked last time. He did not.
I did not hit her. I swear, it is bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Ma. Huh. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I'm thinking of a racist well, granddad kind of way. I don't think I he even knows haven't seen racist... racist granddad. Hmm. Well. He was based on my actual granddad. Who also turned out to be very similar to my mother-in-law's father. I'm having trouble with Lisa. She said that I hit her. No, it's not true. Don't even ask. <laughs> You're lying. What even? I never hit you. Are? You are tearing me apart, Lisa. So anyway, how was your sex life? So anyway, how was your sex life? Do the do the you're a chicken bit. <laughs> You're just a little chicken. Cheep, 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 cheep. <laughs> Hi, doggy. Save point. Uh, right. Fuck. Oh, fuck off. And the hot plate. And the hot the attack button the same as the context sensitive action button. I didn't want to save, I was trying to hit it. Fuck off! Fuck off, you red bastard! <laughs> red. The icy bast. You know what they say. Love is blind. Let's go eat her. Jumping attack from here, can I stun all of them? Okay. <clears throat> Everybody betray me. I'm fed up with this world. minutes, bitch. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I got an antidote. Huzzah! Things are looking up. Slightly. Right, I think I've got like a... 
a way to cheese this fight. Stop scattering, you cowards! Get all together so that I can stun you. When you say stun, do you mean literally or metaphorically? Literally. To what? The poison you must drink. The you must drink. <laughs> and it does look like the uh, mushrooms respawn. So, that. it's not all bad news. I think I'm going to keep saving and just wage some sort of miniature guerrilla warfare campaign on these spiders. And just swoop down and then... Christopher Lee Webb. <laughs> oh, Pete clipped something. Ah. Can I upload that to my uh, YouTube channel, Ian? <laughs> uh, sure. One of your Christopher Lee impressions. Sure. <laughs> if Pete keeps clipping those, I'm going to use them to advertise the streams. <laughs> the red back again. I think he's actually more dangerous than the actual boss. Mm. Ugh, bastards. Oh, and I'm dead. May all be us. why they were unexpectedly easy to take down.
But yeah, there is clearly a game spec spec specified way you are supposed to deal with these. And I think I've found what this one is. Hmm. Fucking hell, she's mounted. Freeze rocks. Let's see, please, I'll help. Right. I'm gonna save here because there are many ways in which things could go badly <laughs> and I'm gonna hang on to any progress I can make honestly didn't think I was getting out of this one thought we might have had to call it here for the Hobbit I think it's doable. Hobbers CEX call it, yep. Seven I play this game, where are we uh oh, fuck. Look at where the where CEX puts the stickers on boxes and what words that makes up. Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon became Crouching Hidden Doctor, which is a very different film. <laughs> Oh yeah, just so you know, the Kayfabe News definitely has a new YouTube channel and it's actually kind of funny. Uh, a wrestler appears and doesn't actually go come out of retirement. Former wrestler shocks the world by staying retired. Wait, we are giving... Uh, Simon Miller's in it, oddly enough. Oh, cool. Yeah, he does like a news presenting thing where he, while he's wearing a wig. We have just got news in that Edge recently speared Elias, so I guess he's not retired now. Yeah. I, hate this. I hate this level. Someone's written something about Boris Johnson. Yeah. Let's see. Invest in a, Boris is put to invest our NHS deal with violent crime and cut the cost of giving of living. We need the Queen's speech. And someone's put, you will not fuck with my children's future. You will not destroy the freedoms my grandfather fought two world wars to defend. Fuck off, you overpromoted rubber bath toy. <laughs> Britain is is revolted by you and your little gang of masturbatory prefects.
I like the Alan part of oh, the edge. Are you two wrestling? All oh, right, yeah, of course. Let's see. I should when... call you the edge because you're sitting on because the edge of the canal. When the face of opposite of opposition, it's a Scottish independence can't support her party in Westminster. We are in the end game for this so-called union. Uh, MEPs plan to trigger EU law investigation to, to safeguard rights. Okay. I like the Alan Partridge episode where he pretends the ransom guy is born, huh? Oh, a random guy is born, huh? <laughs> Doctor Strange of the Kentucky. Yeah, it's also funny where they cover people's faces. Yeah, as if CEX has some sort of bizarre grudge against an actor. <laughs> or, um, sports star. <laughs> so, Ollie, I have to ask if you've seen the new Star Wars trailer thing and you've listened, you thought of Seb as soon as you saw the red eyes of C3PO. Of course. <laughs> well, Seb showed me the trailer and I knew about the red eyes before then. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. But once you knew about the red eyes. You thought, you know, you thought, yeah, Seb's gonna have a field day with this. I am fluent in over six million forms of interrogation. <laughs> I'm C-3PO, human elimination relations. <laughs> that whole thing where he shoots the Ewoks and then he impales it. Jar Jar Binks on his arm. <laughs> are gone now. <sighs> I'd better catch up with the dwarves. <sighs> Finally! Do it. There's another theory that he's been programmed to kill because he's holding Chewie's bowcaster in the poster. Jack would react to this. Well, since it's Jack reacting to anything, I would say not well. Okay, I've spent all of my money on health potions and antidotes. The wood. The wood elves returned and captured the weary dwarves. But Bilbo popped on his ring just in time. The wood elves took the dwarves into the Elven King's halls and closed the gates. Right, I don't think we've got time for another level, so I'll save it and we'll call it a stream, yeah? All right. I'd rather not know after last night. If he won the lottery, he said he won the lottery ticket wasn't as good as the original one. What happened last night, Sam? Hmm? What? what, me? No, Seb, yeah, he said, I'd rather not know after last night. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> Sam wasn't in our main call. <laughs> Actually, it's probably for the best that you don't mention it on the, uh... Caught again. I called them late if I saw it online. I'll have to do the rescuing. 
Better not let those elves catch me, or we'll never make it out of here. Okay. Oh yeah, I never finished that last level the last time I had the game. I never even got that far into it. So this is all new territory to me. Elves have keen senses. I'd better not get too close, even with my ring. While invisible, Bill Bro will follow the red when an enemy looks at him. Keep the ring on until the red glow disappears. Well, we're out of the spiders level. He's a, a Star Wars debate, I'll say that. What's Spock doing there? He's been watching unpleasant videos which made him more unpleasant than usual. Ah, right. It's probably best you don't go into specifics then. It's like feeling a gremlin after midnight. <laughs> How do you even know about that reference? Have I showed you gremlins at some point? Don't think I did. It was a good Christmas movie. Oh god, yeah, and Hulk Hogan's in the second one. Yeah. I was telling Seb more about Hank Logan last night. Mm. I also told him about Ivo. <laughs> he found the term cream faced loon hilarious. <laughs> Hey Ollie, remember remember the cranky Vince things? I remember. <laughs> In gorilla moisturizing my balls. Hello, Bilbo. You and your companions have done us no harm. I fear that we are the stubborn ones to keep your friends locked in our cellars. Well, that wasn't creepy. To get into the cellars, you'll need three crystals. Elven King Thranduil keeps them close by his throne. Be wary of the other wood elves, Bilbo. I am the only friend you have here. Okay, and that seems like a good place to call it a stream. I won't play any more of the game, but is there anything anyone else wants to talk about or say for a bit? Uh, well, all I can all I want to ask is, have you had a chance to try out those Onimusha di discs I sent you? I haven't yet, no. That's fair enough. I mean, I was thinking as well that since Liz isn't around really much, you know, not going to be around for like a week, I was thinking of maybe doing a few more streams. Yeah, that's cool. You've got the... Uh, I've got the time, time now. And I don't, yeah, I don't have to worry about, you know, waking Nicole or anything else at the moment. Yeah, well, let me know I'm when you do doing one. I'll be glad to jump in. Well, it might be during the day, so it might be, you know, around 12 o'clock time, so you're free around those times. I'm free around any time. I've not managed to get, I've not managed to get as much as a call back, never mind a job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that's just well, what it's like these days. Like, well, I've, yeah. I've, 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 yeah. Well, okay, let's, let's not go into that, because that shit's depressing. 
But LinkedIn allows LinkedIn. you to apply for a job for like in like 10 seconds. I applied for a job at the Leicester branch of the Walt Disney Company like not too long ago. Didn't hear back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you maybe you're not evil enough. Perhaps. Although it's like... true. You're semi evil. You're quasi evil. You're the margarine of evil. You're the diet coke of evil. Just one calorie. <laughs> I watched Goldmember last night. Oh, that's from the spy who shagged me. Yeah, it is, yeah. But I that? love that one, just because it's a Jerry Springer thing, and you've got literal Nazis and the KKK, and they're not as evil as Dr. Evil, apparently. He didn't apply to be the new Tom Holland, did he? No, I think it was some kind of social media slash office position. Whatever. I don't actually but remember only... what it was. Hey, Ollie, maybe you're not woke enough. I'm the wokest one here. That's the problem, but yeah. You know, you've had too much coffee, Ollie, and you need to not be as woke. You need to sleep. <laughs> you need to sleep. Ollie, listen to me. You've got bags under your eyes, and you're getting fat from it. You need to sleep. Stop being woke. You'll be... <laughs> well, the Netherlands you... don't know if he went to that part of the country. Tom Holland went to Holland in Far From Home. <laughs> Well, um, Disney have reached a compromise and they've recast this guy called Tim Netherlands to play Night Monkey in his debut feature. You know, do you th here's a weird thing I've been thinking about lately while going on my walks and watching the village, you know, flood and the pensioners swim by. Do you think it's possible to go back to Oblivion and even enjoy it? What, you mean Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion? Yeah. I think so. Um, I just I think because it could of, do it, with an update. I, if I you think have the, the capacity to mod it for that, then do it. I think it's mainly because I was thinking about it and I've realised just how many t how long we've had Skyrim around. And then I tried to compare it <laughs> It's the been whole like eight oblivion. years at this point. Hang on, it came out in 2011. Yeah, it's been eight yeah. years. So then I suddenly thought to myself, well, remember when Oblivion came out and how that was the biggest thing for a while and now well, I think we want, I was thinking about all the things we took for we're taking for granted with Skyrim and realising Oh yeah, remember how leveling up is basically shit in Oblivion? <laughs> Skyrim really makes you think about how shit Oblivion actually was. Well, the level up system was cumbersome and unintuitive. Remember the remember the many problems with the voice clips that were given to the different NPCs? What, you mean all four voice actors? And then there yeah. was that one that stops the line halfway through and says, oh, wait a minute, let me do that one again. And it, yes, I, that, yes, one that one made it into the game. Yes, that one. I mean, the only thing I really remember about it that I rem that I still think they did better than Oblivion, honestly, was the Dark Brotherhood. Um, That's literally the only thing I think that Oblivion did better than Skyrim. Oh uh, yeah, I was confused there for a second. I agree. And they have my favourite mission... In Oblivion, in the Dark Brotherhood quest line, <laughs> it's the party. Well, it's one. Ma well, it's mainly because the Dark Brotherhood in, well, if you actually look into the lore in Skyrim, isn't even the real Dark Brotherhood. Huh. Only like two people who are there are actually oh, members of the. Holland is a region of the Netherlands, not the whole country. I'm going to call John Barrowman Jim Arrowman in the script, and try to get the real John Barrowman if the show gets made. John Barrowman. <laughs> Oh, um, I don't know if I told you this, but he's, um, you know, the Aladdin actor in his, his script. He wants him to be played by John yeah, Barrowman. He told... if... Yes, he told me yesterday. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> so that's going to be funny, because John Barrowman's normally immortal, or at least very difficult to kill. He was functionally immortal in Arrow for a while, and then uh, Nyssa destroyed the Lazarus Pit. Where did you get to in Arrow, Sam? Because I remember showing some of it to you. God, I cannot remember. 
I know you at least got to season two. Did we see the end of season two? I honestly, Ollie, do not remember. Honestly, it has been so yeah. goddamn long. Honestly, it peaked in season two. That I mean, season three was pretty good. Not quite as good as season two. Um, where the the villain was Ra's al Ghul. Are you still there, Ian? Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, as you know, in season two, the villain was Deathstroke slash Slade Wilson, played by yeah. Manu Bennett, who we know from Spartacus. I do, re- I do remember. I do remember. You're not going yeah, the home, whole thing. Yeah. Yes, I do remember all that. <laughs> And yeah, the whole fight with him where they basically cured him of the Mirakuru thing. Yeah. Oh right. Yeah. So you did see. So you did see the end of season two, because that's yeah. how they beat him. They cured him of the Mirakuru. Well, Alfred Merlin failed to beat, struggle to beat up one of Deathstroke's goons. Yeah. That was hilarious. Yeah. Um... And of course, all of the Queen's mom scaring him off. By pretty much mentioning Rachel Ghoul. Yeah. Who is the bad guy in season three? Yeah. Season four, it's Damien Dark. Season four is. Uh... We don't talk Damien. about season four. Yeah, Damien Dark's annoying. He's much less so when he's in Legends of Tomorrow. It, like, he comes up... He's hilarious in Legends of Tomorrow. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. In fact, Legends of Tomorrow is probably my favourite one of them, just for how consistently fun it is, if nothing else. Does your, does your show have a psychic gorilla going back in time to kill Obama while he's in college? No? <laughs> then stand down! Because <laughs> that it's happens gone. in Legends of Tomorrow. And it's not even the plot of the episode, it just it's just a thing that happens. <laughs> Your story have Banana Man? No, then fuck off. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, Jim's just done another, Jim's just done another video. I've seen notification. 2K pairs yeah. loot boxes with slot machines and gambling flavored NBA 2K20 trailer. <laughs> what I want to know is why is why hasn't Booster Gold appeared yet? <laughs> <laughs> he should have. Like I'm looking forward to the next year of the Arrowverse, even if it is going to be the last one for Arrow. Mm. It's pretty much established that Oliver Queen is going to die. Uh, that's not a spoiler at this point. They've confirmed it in the in the show, pretty much. It'll be a bigger spoiler if he doesn't. <laughs> like, isn't it... Who's the person that he made the deal with? Was it the Anti-Monitor? I think so. Yeah, so the, answer, which... the anti-monitor is in the Arrowverse now. I know, but he's not the fun one that you and me keep laughing at. Blech. Blech. <laughs> oh, that's right, Superman. I blew up Earth too. Me! And then I shot Lois Lane in the face with a gun made out of lives, you giant blue sack of shit. Blech. I found that website again not too long ago, and I was looking at that the president that was mad. <laughs> what, the one that goes ants? Ants! The, fir- the world's first dadaist president. <laughs> <sighs> uh, oh, I have it. I prefer. I prepared an answer. <laughs> an answer which I think will be satisfying to all. Ants! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. What about that one guy who kept that saying. Karnak hates everything. Oh. Yes, that's that like, hates everything. Oh, uh, it's com- also the thing. What used to be with web comics? <laughs> God, yeah, it's also the thing where you can find the apple who committed murder. Oh, I've got to check out Aaron dies alone again. Like with web comics, what I tend to do is I I don't keep up with them for a long time, and then I just read everything I've missed, <laughs> I just binge everything I've missed. You remember Aaron Dies Alone, right? It was the yeah. Critical Miss spin-off. <laughs> yes. Yeah. There's looting in the streets. There's a... What happens when there's a Baroque riot? There's looting in the... Uh... Yeah. 
Aaron died not long ago. Was fun. Oh, didn't they start doing comics for the Escapist again? I wonder. I don't know. I haven't actually been on the Escapist in a very long time. I was excited for the resurgence that was going to happen, but I've barely been on it since it come, came back. To be honest, I haven't seen... I, I mean, all I know so far is that Yahtzee is still the biggest damn thing on there. Because at this point... I don't, at this I don't this think point, he's getting dethroned. Well, the thing is, he never will, because the the theory is, look, if he went, the website might as well just shut the fuck down. Because there's nothing else on there worth keep that can hold it the way that Y- Yahtzee has. I don't know, Movie Bob's videos are good if you can stay off his Twitter. <laughs> well, Bob's actually the lowest rated thing on the website. <laughs> well That's the that's the sad that part. The sad... He was uh, one of the he was one of the top three and right now according to comparisons of everyone else, everyone else. Rated, Yahtzee is still the biggest rated thing on there and Bob is actually the lowest rated thing on the website. I, I do like him. I just think he kind of occasionally says something on Twitter that he didn't quite think through. <laughs> well, that and he stopped doing research and looking into the very things he's even talking about. I, I don't know about that. Well, but... It's the two videos he made. The, <laughs> the, the, the one where he decided that the reason nobody likes mobile games is because apparently women, which was no one agreed with him, and then he started well, backtracking. No one agreed with that because that's not what he said. That, that is literally what he said. He, no, literally, he literally said it in the video. And then backpedaled as soon as some woman, a female user actually put on, this is all bullshit and you know it's all bullshit. This is not why people don't like it. Then he did that entire video he on why Luke... That was- your mother and women might play them as a potential reason why some people might be judgmentally biased against mobile games as a concept. He did not say nobody likes mobile games because they're all sexist. <laughs> Never said he said they were sexist. He just kept making. Well, the reason don't like him is because that because the things aren't hardcore and cool enough. Like, okay, who's using the hardcore argument? Oh, no one again. And then there was his whole thing on loot boxes, in which he then decided that he then said that whole thing of why are you people even hoping that the governments and all that will get involved? And it's like, do you, do you and Jim are friends, right? I don't think he's really kept up with the game industry as much as he has with film. Bobby's, stuck in, Bobby's still stuck in a, ve- a long, not even in the recent years. He is very far behind. He's still <laughs> kind of stuck in his Super Nintendo days. Oh, so, so well, not, well, I was are thinking. Are you free late Friday afternoon? Mike wants to know if we're free for a meal. I probably will be. <laughs> Missed the bin. <laughs> right, well, we're one hour fifty-four. Um, yeah, I think. Um, well, let's end on a positive note. Has anyone got anything nice to say? Well, in terms of positivity, I would say, say. it's going to be a very expensive month for me because next month the well next well September time is part two part two of season end of three the of summer games drought. Well, My Hero Academia Season 3 Part 2 finally comes out, so I'll finally be caught up with the stuff up till when Season 4 comes out in in October. Dude, you have access to my Funimation Now account, just use that. Funimation doesn't fucking work. Funimation <laughs> works when it wants to. That's the problem. Ah, I can probably get one. Or, I can probably get one or two episodes out, and apparently this is a problem with Funimation in general that they don't want to, you know, fix their servers. And their defense at one point was, "Well, why don't you watch this anime with this lolly fox girl?" And like, maybe because we want to watch something else. Maybe because we have other shows. Oh, well, then, that's a positive note. That well, I tried, Try. but then Ollie did that. I don't put that on me. <laughs> I know, I know. You couldn't have possibly known that Funimation's kind of being a dick. Yeah, to, but be honest, on another, to be fair, I haven't used another, the service in a long time. Yeah, that's another thing. <laughs> but on another plus note, yeah. Yakuza, we, the UK is getting Yakuza 3, 4, and 5. <laughs> yes, that is very good. So, did you also <laughs> note the distinct lack of Dead Souls? I did note the distinct lack of Dead Souls, and I'm a little bit uh, disappointed, uh, to be honest. I enjoy uh, Dead Souls. <laughs> 
but apparently they're putting, they're putting in all of the features that were removed from the from Yakuza Three. Mm. All that's being put back in. Yes. And that includes everything in Yakuza Five and Six. And also next week, Final Fantasy Eight comes out. Excellent. We will definitely Ian. be streaming that. Yeah, we can, and, you're, and also, your streaming ban ends next month. It does, on my main channel. We can do the podcast live again. I prefer, that is good news. That, I, is, that I, is a... Yeah, I actually really do prefer doing them live. <laughs> it, just, <laughs> uh, it just feels better, especially when you get comments. Um, yeah. On that note, though, I have seen Raw and SmackDown already. Surprisingly okay. Uh, so if you wanted to record okay. the podcast early, and I will just release it on Sunday. Um... Can I just say, without spoiling too much of SmackDown, yeah. I love Angry Daniel Bryan. Yeah, that, that, that is brilliant. Being reminded, I was being reminded of Edge when he smacked Hawkins and Ryder when he lost the mm. world title to CM Punk. Going, this is your fault! This is your fault! This is your fault! Smack Where you were you? It's gone. <laughs> it's it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, he, he's like, "What did you do? What did you do? Shut up! What did you do? Shut up!" <laughs> <laughs> he's like an angry drill sergeant. I can't handle it quickly because you'll kill me. I hate liars. What did you do? Shut up! <laughs> And he still got speared by Roman because why not? <laughs> Pete says, "Yeah, fired." <laughs> ah, surprised myself with that one. <laughs> yeah, Vince McMahon, the man. The man. man. It's uh, okay, well we've almost hit the two-hour mark, guys. Where can the internet find more of you? You can find me on Murasaki's Pit, where I am not sure what I'll be doing next, but I am going to be doing some DHPW and New Blood stuff, and depending, I might be playing some other games, because I've just realised how many games I actually have now, and it scares me. Yeah, I mean, that's why I've resisted buying games lately, for that exact reason. <laughs> well, it's because, it's because I have an actual rack for my games. Yeah. But then I have another rack for, and then I had loads more on the windowsill, and I'm like, oh dear. Yeah. Okay, Ian, where can the internet find you and what you do? You can find me at Within the Grey Walls, where I'll be continuing the uh, Spider-Man DLC. Yeah. Excellent. Spider-Man. Ah. Spider-Man. And with is the... it weird that when I got on the bus to go to town? I went through a village that was having a carnival, and they were hanging. Uh, they were hanging Spider Man. That is weird. You it can was find me like, and Ollie Johnson pretty much hanging, everywhere. They had, like, they, they had a doll dressed up like Spider Man being hung from a lamppost by his neck, and I'm like, what the fuck? When did JJ move to Scotland? Whew. Yeah, somebody's tough crowd. No. tough crowd. Either that or Disney yeah. came through. Yeah. <laughs> Who lived there, Jay Jonah Jameson? So he beat you to the punch. I, I, I beat you to the punch. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah. Uh, you can find me as Ollie Johnson pretty much everywhere. And Ollie Games, which is where these streams will be archived when I get round to doing that. <laughs> so, uh, we will see you next time. Bye.